Is this is Jacko in the background. Yeah. Yeah. He's posting. Yeah. 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 That Jacko just got the attention because he bolted by the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You see how protective this male is over the lioness, looking at the other two males. Yeah, so circling back. Yeah. You see how he's scent marking. If the other two go closer towards them, there will be a little bit of fighting here. While we were watching three Gumundwan male lions with a lioness in estrus, suddenly the two Shishangeni males arrived out of nowhere and chaos erupted with male lions running in all directions and lots of roaring. Whoa! Whoa look at them go! Don't fight there. But the Gumundwans are not actually backing down, they're going back for the Shishingenis, eh? After initially retreating a few times, the three Gumundwan males go back and confront the two Shishingeni males, and we hear a massive fight break out deep in the bushes. After a while, we can hear what sounds like a lion in distress. After about an hour, two of the Gumundwan males emerge from the bush with their faces covered in blood, a few battle scars and blood on their legs, with no sign of the third Gumundwan male or the two Shishangeni males or the lioness. <laughs> I definitely bite once I on No, he's not injured. That's uh, that's one of the Shishangeni male's blood. Look 
Look at his, uh, his legs, his inner legs, covered in blood. Yeah, he also has a few scratches on his leg. Got a few little scratches, yeah. Although the outcome of the battle is uncertain, it does seem like the three Gomundwan males got hold of a Shishangeni male, judging by the amount of blood visible on these two Gomundwan males. But this one um, mainly seems darker than the other one laying in the, uh, uh, in the ground. Yeah. yeah, this guy is one of the more dominant of the Komandwani coalition. The scar, really. I got a shot on the I think so. See the blood dripping off 